and welcome to a Sky Racing News Update. Rose Hill Guineas winner Ginger Nuts is a confirmed late entry for Saturday week's Australian Derby. Co-trainers Ortridge and Richards are aiming for Ginger Nuts to become the eighth New Zealand bred galloper to win the Derby since 2007. A decision on New Zealand Derby runner-up Rising Red will be made after he gallops Thursday morning. He'll either run in on Saturday or head straight to the Australian Derby. Fellow Kiwi John Snow is lining up in Saturday's Tulloch with Damien Lane booked to ride. Chris Waller will have last start winners Fox Play and Dawn Wall running in the $500,000 Vinery Stud Stakes on Saturday. Waller believes Fox Play will relish the soft track conditions and Dawn Wall is an exciting filly that is assessing one step at a time with an ATC Oaks or Queensland Oaks on the agenda. Bjorn Baker's Louboutin, who finished second to Dawn Wall last start in the Kembla Grange Classic, is also strong in early betting. Darren Weir confirmed Humidor galloped in the Sydney direction this morning and went super, heading into this weekend's BMW. Trent Bussardon says Tavago is on target for his two key races, the BMW and the Sydney Cup. Blake Shin galloped Tavago this morning and felt he galloped better today than before the Sky Heights win. Cranbourne trainer Mick Bell confirmed Jungle Edge, who ran third to Russian Revolution in the Galaxy, will back up in the Star Kingdom this weekend. Bell says Jungle Edge loves the sting out of the ground and backed up well in the past. Impending and Danish Twist lead the all-in market for the Star Kingdom stakes. In Friday night's William Reed at the Mooney Valley, Andrew Noblet's Silent Sedition will run. Hugh Bowman is booked to ride illustrious lad for Pelagata Goddess with Darmanin suspended. And Perth horse Rock Magic arrived in Melbourne this morning to also line up in the William Reid. The trainer believes the seven-year-old deserves a crack at a big one. Joe Morera will team up with Godolphin for a number of rides on day one of the championships. He'll ride Ajax Stakes winner It's Somewhat in the Doncaster. O'Shea indicated the booking of Morera was a one-off as a lightweight rider was needed, with James Doyle unable to ride light after coming off an injury-enforced break. Band jockey James McDonald is taking his battle against his 18-month disqualification to the New South Wales Racing Appeal Tribunal. McDonald didn't get a reduction from the appeal panel last week, but with the ruling divided, he's decided to appeal to the next level. Jeff Lloyd and Ty Angland, who were both suspended for six meetings for careless riding in the Golden Slipper, will have their appeals heard on Friday. That's Sky Racing News for now. I'm Victoria Samba. More news on our website, skyracing.com.au, and follow us on social media.